Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at color and character styles in Adobe XD. So let's jump into it. You can see on screen there's a design that I did for Gmail in a mobile format a little while ago. And what I've done is from the symbols panel in the bottom left corner, on Mac and Windows, you can now get the latest version of XD and it has the colors panel and the character styles panel. If you'd like to learn more about symbols, there will be a video linked at the top on a card or down in the description. And there's a whole separate video that covers symbols. But you can see here that I've added all of the colors from this XD document over here to the color panel. And I've also added all five of the different character styles or font styles from this design to the panel over here. Now, why is this helpful? Well, what this does is it allows us to define the colors and the character styles within a potentially huge document. If you've got an app or a website and you've got, you know, 30 screens and you need to change red to blue or you need to increase a font size ever so slightly, you can literally do it in a few clicks rather than going through every single screen and doing it manually. So huge time saver and this is a big deal. So what I can do is I could right click the red for example and I can copy this six digit hex value which represents this specific shade of red to the clipboard or I can edit it and if I change this to blue for example you can see in real time it updates to any color that I change it to. So as I say this is just one screen but if you've got 30 screens huge time saver there and we can of course delete this altogether doesn't alter your document or anything and if we create a shape we can then apply this as a border or a fill to that new shape. Now character styles are very similar if I were to take this one here so we've got Roboto bold at 16 point in size that's this text here there's two instances of this font and I can go to edit change that to blue and you can see it updates in real time. So I could change that to, let's go for this red here, we'll right click and go copy, right click and edit, we'll go and paste in that six digit reference and press return and it will add that same red to this text to match the top. And if I wanted to change this text here, so I can see this is Roboto 13 regular, which is this one here, so I can simply right click, select edit and we go and change that color and it updates across the entire document. So I could make it a little bit lighter or a bit darker, change the size, can make it bold, all of these different preferences and it allows me to update it literally in seconds. So this is an existing document. If I were to go to file and down to new and we'll just create another iPhone 6 slash 7 and you can see there is nothing added at the moment. So again, we can just open the symbols panel in the bottom left corner. And if we add a circle, and we'll just copy this a few times and just pick some colors here, deselect that border. So I'm just gonna pick a couple of different colors. And what I can do is select these shapes and then just click the plus icon. It will add that shape to the color panel on the left. We can add this one as well. You'll notice once I've already added a color, it's ghosted out and it won't let me add that again. But what I can do is I can select this third circle here and then just instantly just pick that color from the panel. And then if I go and right click and select edit, I can change every instance of that color instantly. So we're going to add some text as well. We're going to be really original and just write hello. And that's at 20 point. Helvetica regular and we can add this as a character style right click this style select edit and we can change that to blue make this 40 point in size adjust preferences like line height also known as leading font size font weight and even the font style itself as well as the hue saturation brightness alpha also known as transparency or opacity and of course you can paste in a new six digit reference color there as well. 
And there we go, that's a look at colour and character styles in Adobe XD, so a huge time saver there. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.